Web server attack methodology, why bother with manual tests if vulnerability scanner does it all? I'm reading a white hat hacking book from a famous certification. They say the methodology for hacking a web server is information gathering, domain name, DNS, IP, etc. Footprinting, X, banner grabbing, website mirroring, vulnerability scanning, session hijacking, password cracking. Apart from session hijacking and information gathering, I don't see why I would not just launch a Kinetics web app scanner and or Nessus to find all weaknesses. What is the point of performing manual tests if you can automate them? For instance, if the vulnerability scanner does not know how to find vulnerable cookies, and if I manually find a way to do session hijacking, I won't be able to train a Kinetics of Nessus for that. Even if I did, I don't how beneficial it would be. Please explain why I would not just let my tool do the hacking for me. You have several assumptions here. Scanners can find all vulnerabilities. If a scanner cannot find a vulnerability then there are no vulnerabilities. All manual tasks can be automated. Attackers would only use automated tools and not manual approaches. Manual approaches cannot be turned into bespoke automated tools. Finding vulnerabilities is the same as exploiting the vulnerabilities. None of these assumptions are universally true. Automated scanners help make the process of finding vulnerabilities more efficient, but they are far from perfect and far from complete. Scanners are also not designed to exploit the vulnerabilities in a useful way. In practice, you want to manually test the results of a scanner false positives and perform manual tests to look for things that the automated tool might have missed. Attackers will use a mix of approaches and then often create or modify a tool to exploit the vulnerability so that it is repeatable and reliable. But that doesn't mean that the tool will work in other situations. Automated tests are the basic threshold. If your site program fails an automated test, then you've made a pretty boneheaded error and it should be fixed immediately because it will be easy to find. But I've seen some cases where a developer has added a check for 1 equals 1 in their SQL in order to hide from automatic scanners, but I was able to exploit the site using 2 equals 2 modern SQL scanners account for this now. I only knew that from manual testing and personal experience. You can't encode experience and intuition in a tool. Coding is an insanely complex activity. That means that the errors can be complex, too. No tool could be created to look for or to exploit all vulnerabilities.